Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Poland Strong in Europa Universalis 4. So let's just continue. I'm so close to the end. I'll admit, I've actually um, spent some a fair bit of time considering just letting the game run um, without recording and just get to the end and get the achievement because that's really the only thing we're trying to do is just get the achievement. I mean, I've, I don't know, you know. But, but uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and annex Austria is dumb. I'm assuming that uh, Austria, Austria cord all their stuff, right? Yeah, we're gonna get free course. Cool. Unfortunately, that's gonna raise our autonomy. That's not good. So yeah, we're trying to avoid spending administrative points. We really don't want to do much of anything, actually, except for make eau de toilette bigger, maybe. Um, and then maybe, maybe we can feed little buddy. But I've always found it. Not always, but I recently have found it very annoying that I can't just sell them this province. Sell province. Colonial nations can only buy provinces in their own colonial region. Mer. Paradox, why don't you like fun? Paradox, like what? What do you have against fun? Just thought I'd ask. See if I got a response. We have... Some money. We have money. It's good. Money's good. Our borders are quite hideous. That's like the only thing I really want to worry about, honestly, is uh, making our borders prettier. I guess we'll fabricate claims on the auto derps and see if we can maybe, like, take some of the land, like, wet of Endogar. Maybe, like, clean up some of the borders a little bit. Also, um, have we... We still have not yet captured our... I mean, does this straight count? Like, have we, have we connected this down here yet? We have. Okay. All right. Good. Well, apparently sometime... At some point that happened... Probably when we annexed Oldenburg, and uh, now we suddenly have low unrest. Or, sorry, low autonomy. By the way, Muggles. Cool. I think they've been around for a while. Russia doesn't exist in this map. The rest of the map seems pretty much uh, samey to, to most things. Portugal actually got the leg up on North America compared to Spain. But Spain got most of uh, South America, looks like. Yeah. Interesting. Are they allies? You are allied with, uh, no Portugals. Exactly zero Portugals. Your Portuguese attitude towards Spain is friendly. The Spanish relationship towards Portugal is hostile. Mm-hmm. Once your province is minus 65. Yeah, sorry, Portugal. That means that the colonial nations are going to fight each other. Hey, Eau de Toilette. Are you ready? Have you cored all your stuff? Little buddy number two, you have not yet cored your capital. That makes sense. I mean, what's a core, right? Go for the six six base tax province. I guess it does make sense. I just just think it's just think it's weird to not have your capital cored. I guess we're gonna take Diplotech. Um, France, are you still hostile? Of course you are. I'm not gonna get anybody to like me, so we're gonna have to pay full price. Seven hundred and sixty-three points. Being Eastern Tech, Defender of the Faith. Um. You know, it's okay. I think we can handle it. We'll take it. We still have 50 years of point generation. What kind of point generation do we have these days, anyway? 11, 10, and 6. Kind of low, honestly, on the military point generation. But... It'll be alright. Don't worry about it. Maybe we should do some more of this diplomatic annexation. What do you think? We need to claim on you. Can we just, like, vassalize you? Why don't we just force vassalize you in the next war? If we attack you, you'll bring in, like, everyone. Here's what we should do. They will call upon coalition members. Yeah, so here's what we can do. Well, no. I want to negotiate... for some easy land. It'd be so much easier if they didn't all hate me. I guess I shouldn't have just blatantly conquered everyone. What do you think? We attack Flanders. They'll bring in just coalition members. They're one province minor. By sieging them down, we instantly get 100%. And we can break up the coalition. What do we fabricate a claim on Flanders? Fabricate a claim on Friesland. I assume you're in the coalition. We'll get a claim... Well, see, I don't want to spend Abaddon points, though. What am I... I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. 
I don't even know. We just, we can't. We can't afford to. We're too far behind on Aventech. No more fabrications. No more conquering land. Unless we can do it diplomatically. And we can't. So, it looks like we're going to declare war. And the other thing, okay, diplomatically is not going to work either because of aggressive expansion minus 488. <laughs> Bavaria would not trust the Commonwealth to die properly. Yeah, I understand. Ooh, a 634 for the 303. Ugh. Well, hopefully this character lasts till the end of the game. Nope, he's 53. Means that we have a very good chance of... Revolutionary France has declared war on Wales. Spread of the revolution. You became Revolutionary France. Revolutionary France? No, you stink. Um, isn't there... Yeah, there's the thing. Birthplace of the revolution. Revolution is taking place in Revolutionary France. How nice for you. I, uh, yeah, what can we do about that? Revolutionary, they're, they get, like, bonuses and stuff. I don't like it. We have, um, nothing, nothing fancy. How come they get to be the revolutionary target, huh? What if I want to be the revolutionary target? Wow, look at all those points. Pretty good. We have the Liberation Act, the Foreign Aid Act. I think we might have to turn off some of these things on military, maybe. Foreign Aid Act. Uh, maybe we get rid of that. Can be repealed in 77. This one. Military power. Yeah, let's get rid of it. Liberation Act. I really like that one, though. I really like all of these. Let's turn them off, though, because we're not going to go to war for a while. Ugh, that was painful, turning those off. They're so good. I like them so much. They're like my favorite thing. Almost my favorite thing. So, um... Does anyone want to peacefully come into our country? Like we're, we're so low on points that I can't really, like, afford to clean up the borders now. Even just taking, like, Constantinople is too many points. It's 225 points. We need these points. In order to get to Tech 32. Military divided. Actually not that bad, at least we don't lose stability. What do we want? Land force limits and discipline? Sure. Discipline's always good and we're very disciplined. It's gonna be really weird when I have to play the game again without having access to the... Um, the Castus Belly. National, uh, whatever it's called. The one that I use all the time, Imperialism. It's okay, little buddy. We'll take your monarch points. We'll steal some monarch points from you, is what happens in my mind. So, Revolutionary France, um, I think if I attack you, like, I get a bonus for fighting you. We have a truce for a few more years, till 79. So we'll just kind of sit here and watch you. How's Eau de Toilette doing? I don't care about Ryzen. They've cored another province. Are they finally coring their capital? Nope. They don't have a claim to their own capital, so... I guess they're going to have to pay full points for it. 180 admin. Even without a core, they've got 77 tax income efficiency. Still, the core's worth another 75. They'll make twice as much taxation off this when they core it. Production's pretty good. Despite the core. Production and trade value are both fine. Like, having a core really only affects... Taxes and manpower. Lost a general. Remember back in the day when we used to have six generals? Now we can only afford four. Yeah, he gets uh, pretty low manpower efficiency. So, I mean, it's still pretty good, but... We'll take the administrative points. Almost up to 100 papal influence again. Hey, administrative tech. Administrative efficiency, an extra idea group. You go to bureaucratic despotism. Or enlightened despotism. Let's take a look at the government types and see if we actually want to change. Right now we're in absolute monarchy. Gives us bonus discipline. Um, constitutional monarchy? Which one was it that gives four modifiers that I really like? It was the one that had years of nationalism, and you can't see it anymore because for some strange reason, Paradox thinks that you only need to list the first three bonuses. You know what? I want to look it up. 
I'm gonna go look it up real quick. You can't see what I'm doing because I'm sneaky, but I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. Um, EU4 government types. Type type type. Uh, government. Search for Control F nationalism. Constitutional monarchy has four modifiers: minus five years of nationalism, plus one yearly legitimacy, uh, ten percent manpower recovery speed, and that revolutionary empire is cool. That's got five modifiers as well. But yeah, the uh, that's that's the one with four constitutional monarchy. This one. It doesn't show it. it doesn't show it. But there's a five. There's a minus five years of nationalism on there. You'd think that'd be important to show, right? That's a pretty significant deciding factor on whether or not this is a good one or not. <laughs> I mean, come on. This is really good. Not that we need nationalism because we're not going to conquer anything else. But I mean, we don't even have any revolt risk. Look at the map. This is zero. Uh, my king, your charm has certainly done wonders for our nation. Thanks to you, we have inherited the throne of Eau de Toilet. Oh, I see. Excuse me? I'm a bit confused. I didn't know that was possible. I thought they, a client state was essentially a vassal. But because they were our dynasty, because we were able to force our dynasty on them, we just... Apparently he died and we just inherited their dynasty. Sweet. Okay, well... Which means we inherited their autonomy. Wow. So he just cored one, two, three, four, five provinces for me for free. Actually, more than that. I think he had Navarro too. Didn't he? Annexed by Commonwealth today. January 5th. Came a core today. Came a core, yeah. Wow, so we still have to core this one, which stinks. Can we create Eau de Toilette again? Let's create a new Eau de Toilette. Eau de Toilette. 2.0. It's going to have our dynasty, and it's going to be a monarchy, of course. Yes. Let's try again. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I think we also got their troops. I mean, we got so much from that. Hmm. That is quite funny. Interesting. We've gained the national or imperialism against Eau de Toilette 2.0. Revolutionary France, I'm going to feed Eau de Toilette so much land. Did you die again after you core? I mean, if he hadn't died, if he hadn't finished, if he had cored this one, I would have just kept the land, but I can't afford to pay for anything. <laughs> We're already spending Dipple points annexing uh, Austria is dumb. We have one more person in the coalition against us. It's interesting. It's fine. This will clean up our borders slightly, which is nice. So that's very interesting. You're not guaranteed to inherit them. By no means. But we got quite lucky. If you had enough of them... The Papal State has joined a coalition against us. Hmm. What are you so upset about? Was at war? Curse of expansion? You want my lands? Well, you're a silly goose, and you need to stop it. We used to be friends. Alright. What kind of ideas do we want to take? We have room for one more idea. I don't think we're going to get any more ideas. Unless there's one that we can take that's going to like give a significant technology reduction cost really, really early in the tree, which I don't think we're going to see. Um, I'm pretty sure they're all like toward the end where that actually applies. Yeah, there's no singular first idea that would really benefit us. So we're not going to do it. We're just going to say, nope, I'm not interested. What do we got here? Why'd you build so many heavies, dude? Oh, he built a great frigate. Tech trade. English Channel. Please stop building boats. What are you building now? Another great frigate? Look at all these ships that he queued up. So do I get... Am I getting money back? I think I am. 
I'm getting money back for ships that he queued up like crazy. Answer that. That's kind of funny. You're doing the same thing here. Look at this. Look at all the stuff that he queued up. You're crazy. And he's got seven more being built here, too. You crazy little vassal, huh? Hmm. Where did he get all that money, I wonder? He's a thief. Thief is what he is. Well, I like that. I'd rather like inheriting states. That's cool. We should do that more often. <laughs> We should do a peaceful playthrough. No war. Support the rebels. We support rebels in France. That seems like fun. I want to support rebels in France. They have some rebels, yes, but these numbers mean nothing, of course. French particularists. 100 gold a month. That seems reasonable. Uh, France, you know we're going to attack you soon, right? We have enough men nearby. As long as we attack France before the, they join the coalition, I don't really care. There's going to be too many men. Oh, we can march through there, though. Put these guys up there. Put these guys here and these guys here. So, like, I want to be on it. Like, the second that they join the, uh... Second that the truce expires, I want to attack them. I want to feed Eau de Toilette. There's Eau de Toilette. <laughs> Look at that, they've actually fabricated claims. Funny. Military access from Great Britain? I guess. If you want to die a miserable death, you can come wander through our territory. Seems fine. We have a truce still. You are allied with a few people. You're going to bring in the Papal State, of course. Truce expires exactly when? I know it's in 2000, it's in uh, 1779. November. Boo. They're going to be a little bit harder to fight this time, though, now that they have that revolutionary thing. Here, we're going to put 40 dudes there. 40 dudes here. Let's wait till they march a little bit. We'll take these 30. Put it there. Okay, we can take military attack. Seems reasonable. Flying battery. Sounds good. Still at full maintenance, of course, because why wouldn't we be? Level 3 advisors across the board. I guess we don't need to be at full maintenance while we're at peace. I guess. This is the main thing we have going for. You know what? Actually, having full maintenance might be what's preventing the uh, coalition from triggering. So let's not show any weakness. We need to have an army nearby the Papal State, because yes, we're going to kill it right away. Fill it with fire. Um, supply limit? 73. Let's throw a few more men that way. I only need one leader. I think it said you were going to bring in Naples too, right? No. USA and Friesland. Okay, um... USA, you caused problems for me last time. I remember this. We might need to send some ships over there with some men. Manly men. Men in, men in tights. Tight tights. We're men. We're manly men. We're men in tights. Tight tights. We roam around the forest looking for fights. That's right. Sorry. I'm in a very strange mood today. Anyway, um, it's probably about time for a break, isn't it? I know you love hearing me say that. We're ahead of time on all text. That's good. Um, we're making far more administrative points than anything, but that's kind of okay because we were behind. We're actually, I think, a tech level. Well, no, actually, we caught up. Never mind. 
I guess that means we might actually have space for an idea group. Maybe. About the only thing I want to do, maybe, would just be to get adaptability, and then we could actually core a couple things. But that's still, like, 800 points to sink in. But it's the only one. I mean, it's, it's the only one I'd even consider. Let's go for it. I don't actually want that idea. I guess I do. Let's work. We'll work for adaptability. If we do adaptability in cores, and then we take land from, like, the Ottomans, we can pay for, like, it will be very cheap. Instead of paying the uh, 300 points this would cost, it would only be 150. We can justify 150 points for 15 base tax province. I mean, that's really good. Oh, and I can't forget, if we're going to declare war on revolutionary France here soon, we're going to have to reenact those military policies, because they're awesome. So we'll do that one, and we'll do infantry combat ability. Is there another one? Is there another good one for combat? Why can't we act more of these? No. No, I guess not. Hey there, buddy. Okay, so the truce with you is up in exactly November, which means that December the 1st is when we want to declare war. Ready? So the game down to speed 3. Or they can join the coalition. Let's also make sure we've got six generals. Put a leader over there. January 1st. Counter-revolution! National unrest plus 5. Yearly prestige minus 5. We've gained the Crush the Rebellion CB. Okay, well that sounds like a good CB to use. Crush the Rebellion. Four goals to take the capital province of revolutionary France. Reduced aggressive expansion, bonus prestige, 50% cost for all kinds of stuff. Pretty much anything. Dismantle the revolution. Or we could just do Imperialism. No. This one seems better. Does it say all provinces? No. It does say the conquest of, and then it seems to list everything. Let's do that one. Okay. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.